Hi, I'm Taylor, and welcome to the Fresh Crusaders of Faith Lutheran. Hi, I'm Jordan. My favorite color is red. I play lacrosse, and I'm from Maryland. Jordan, what was that all about? Haven't you heard about the 11 second challenge? No, but I think Avery can tell us all about it. 11 second challenge isn't very popular, but we brought it to Faith. Let's check out how it works and see some students trying it. Students may or may not have heard of the 11 second challenge. Let's see who has and who hasn't. No. 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 No? No. You have 11 seconds starting now. I like soccer, chicken, um, showers, food, shoes, converse, socks, school, <laughs> volleyball. <laughs> Koala bears, pandas, oranges, watermelons, <laughs> um, fruit, uh, people, hot guys, Hollister models, surfing, Hawaiian guys. I like soccer, I like football, I like basketball. Actually, I suck at basketball. I like Talina, I like Avery, I like Allie, I like pictures, and I like food. Congrats to live on winning. For FLTV, I'm Avery. Back to you. Hey, Taylor, what's your favorite movie? Probably Mean Girls. What about you? 21 Jump Street, for sure. Maggie told us the other favorite movies of students here at Faith. Let's see what she said. Hi, I'm Maggie from FLTV. In this time of year, when it's too cold to go to downtown Summerlin, we go to the movies with friends and family. What movie is your favorite and what would you recommend to friends? The Hunger Games. The interview because it's just really funny and big controversy, I guess. My favorite movie is Pitch Perfect because it's really funny and I laugh all the time when I watch it. Uh, probably the interview because it's just really funny. Most middle school students are looking forward to see Pitch Perfect, Insurgent, and Cinderella. What are you looking forward to? Hunger Games Mockingjay, Part 2. Pitch Perfect 2. There are many different types of movies, like comedy, horror, action, and more. What's your favorite type of movie? My favorite genre is science fiction. Comedy. <laughs> well, now you know what's going on with movies this year. For FLTV, I'm Maggie. Back to you in the studio. Jordan, did you give up anything for lunch? Yeah, I gave up girls. Well, it's about time, but according to Katie, people here at Faith have given up many different things. Every year for a 40-day time period, known as Lent, people give up items part of their daily lives, like Jesus gave up his life for us. So many people give up different things for Lent. Others may wonder what their classmates gave up. Chocolate. I don't really have anything. Uh, I'm planning on uh, giving up chocolate for Lent because uh, over the Valentine's Day weekend, I've been eating a buttload. On ChristianityToday.com, the top three things given up for Lent were chocolate, Twitter, and school. Students wanted to share what they thought were the top three. Chocolate, Netflix, and social media. People may think that the purpose of Lent is to give up things, but others may not know the religious purpose of Lent. I think people give up things for Lent, um, not only to uh, give their heart up to Jesus and honor Him, but uh, to um, like say that like they're a better person. What are you giving up for Lent? For FLTV, I'm Katie. Back to you. I have some pretty luscious hair, don't you think, Taylor? Debatable. I think he has some competition here at Faith. Let's tune in to Dylan and see if he can prove me wrong. Hi, I'm Dylan Kruger with FLTV. I'm here to talk to you about male hair. Yes, male hair. Hair is that one part that you either care or don't care about. We'll give you the latest brush on guys and their hair. When you do your hair, you want to look like somebody somebody that's well known out there. These individuals tell us who they think they look like with their hair. Uh, I think I'm the more attractive version of Brad Pitt. Uh, Bruno Mars. See, that's a hard question, right? I'm about to go with Bruno Mars mixed with Bradley Cooper. Hair is that fragile part of you that you want to be perfect, but how do you do that? Let's hear some different ways how the students take care of their hair. Uh, you know, I look in the mirror every day, I just make sure my hair looks perfect, and uh, I use shampoo and conditioner in one bottle, not two. One bottle. Uh, I, I use uh, shampoo and conditioner. I just wake up uh, and do my hair with some gel. We ask these students if they feel their hair is number one and why. Well, you know, I think I'm up there. I think uh, my style is unique and uh, different, you know, than other people. And I think it's probably tied with Dylan Kruger. Uh, definitely. I have no competition. Dylan Kruger, especially. I'm gonna have to go with the no. See, I do have really good luscious hair, but there's this young man named Benji Schneeman. His hair is just unbelievably beautiful. Well, now we know that myself and my fellow comrade Brent Kaufman have the best hair on campus. That is it for us with this fantastic story. Back to you. We're gonna dominate! 
soccer season is coming up, and I think they won first last year, right? Yes, thanks to John Gecki's miraculous goal. Hopefully they win first again this year. Let's go see what Zach said about the soccer season. Some students are ready for the soccer season to kick off. Many athletes are preparing for this hard soccer season. We asked some of those athletes, do they think that we can take the title back to back? Last year, the soccer team took it all the way. We asked if we can hold the trophy once again. Uh, yes, I do believe that they could win the title back to back. Yes, I do. I certainly hope so. I haven't seen the new 7th graders this year, but we got a lot of strong 8th graders coming back. There are many positions on the field. Some students tell us what positions they play. Uh, left bench. Defense. Many athletes are prefer preparing for the soccer season and are ready for it to kick off. Uh, you know, I've been working on my seating. I mean, it's pretty intense. There's multiple days of training. You have to work on those glutes. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's pretty tough. By practicing a lot. In tactics and, and formations based on the players that I'm, I'm pretty sure are going to make the team from last year and yeah just thinking about what we're going to be doing with the players that I have. Mr. Hazen gives us the dates of the tryouts. When are the tryouts? Officially the tryouts start March 16th but we have some informal workouts the week before and our informational meeting is on Tuesday March 3rd. And that concludes this story. For FLTV, I'm Zach. Let's win this title. Back to you in the studio. Do you have any plans for spring break? Yeah, and I actually have a pretty fire story about it, too. All right, let's go take a look. Hi, I'm Jordan. Many students are burnt out from school and are looking forward to spring break. Let's see what they have to say. Students told us whether or not they were ready for spring break. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm very ready. Students here are doing a variety of different things for spring break. Hang out with my boy Jordan Archer up at Laguna. I'm going to stay in town and hang out with all my friends. I don't currently have any plans, but I'm sure it'll be very fun. With spring break coming up, let's see who's hanging out with who. Jordan Archer. Um, Andy Einstein, Ava, Ava Kessler, and Zachary Ballier. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm probably just going to be hanging out with my bed because I'm going to be sleeping in it. With spring break around the corner, many students are making plans. For FLTV, I'm Jordan. Back to you. Aki to the Tea is a great food place I hear, and it has a great menu, people say. I've never heard of it. What's on the menu? I'm honestly not really sure, but McKenna, I think, can tell us all about it. Hi, I'm McKenna, and for FLTV, we're going to talk about acai to the tea and their healthy foods. Do you like the idea of having smoothie ice cream that is good for you? Why or why not? I do because, um, like, Yogurt Land, it's just, it's not really that healthy, but it is. But at acai, they use like fruit and stuff, so it's healthier for you. What is acai to the tea? So acai to the tea is, is a little restaurant that I started myself with my brother. Um, provides a healthy alternative to fast food. It's quick, it's easy. We have a lot of uh, organic products. Acai to the tea is a very smart idea. So people can lose weight, but have a sweet treat. What made you think of this great idea? So when I was in high school, my hangout spot was Del Taco. You know, every Tuesday we went to Del Taco. It was Taco Tuesday. All my friends would hang out there. We'd always eat Del Taco. And people don't really know how bad it is for you. So I wanted to, to provide a, a healthy place for, you know, people like yourself that are in high school. Well, I can't wait to go to Acai to the Tea for FLTV. I'm McKenna. Back to you. For the last story of this broadcast, Jack will be telling us about the best sport here on planet Earth, lacrosse. Here at Faith, lacrosse is one of our successful sports. Let's take it over to some of our D1 players. We asked D1 lacrosse players here at Faith who they thought would be in the state championship game, what the score would be, and what the strengths and weaknesses of the team are. I think we're going to win the state championship this year because we have a great defense and offense and uh, top five goalies. Yeah, we definitely have the players for it. You know, all of us have a lot of talent. We're all fast, you know, in good shape. Uh, yes, because our team is stacked this year. We have a lot of great players. I think it would be us and Greenspun or uh, Del Webb. And I think the score will be like 10 uh, to 8. I think we're probably going to go against Greenspun, and last time we played him it was 5-2, to two, so 
probably be similar to that again. Um, the teams will be Rogage probably and us, and I think the score will be Faith 25, Rogage 1. Uh, our strengths are our defense for uh, not letting anyone score, and our offense has, uh, we score so much, like 10 goals each game, and our weaknesses are uh, we can't really like develop the passes or shots. Our strengths are everything because we do everything perfectly and we have no weaknesses. The strengths are definitely we have a lot of great uh, players and we have a, they're all can run fast. We have a lot, we have a fast team. And our weaknesses are we definitely need to improve our stick skills. This has been Jack. Back to you. And that's a wrap for this news broadcast. Remember, Faith Lutheran, stay holy and, and stay, stay fresh. fresh. And that's a wrap for this news broadcast. Remember, Faith Lutheran, stay holy and. Stay you have to say you it. No. No, I didn't. Hi, I'm McKenna, and for FLTV, we're going to talk about the ACT to the I. Telling your heart. Sorry, Marlon. We go to the movies. <laughs> Love you.